Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to create a data analysis project using Python and its libraries. Our data set is going to be about the word population and I'm going to add its link in the description of this video. Let's start coding. We are going to start by importing the libraries we are going to use. I'm going to import pandas and I'm going to import matplotlib by plot as plt and I'm going to import seaborn as SNS, like this. And I'm going to load the data set, so I'm just going to say data frame and it's going to be echo to the pandas that reads CSV function we are going to use. And then I'm going to take the data frame from here. I'm just going to copy its name and then I'm just going to make it run and I will use data frame.head for displaying the first five entry of it. Great. So it's loaded successfully and we can see its columns from data frame that columns also, we can see from dataframe.head, and here are the columns we have. Also, you can do dataframe.tail for displaying the last five row. Also, you can do head. After head, you can specify the number of rows that you want to display, like this. Or you can even write 10. It's optional. I'm just going to check first five and talk about the data frame. And we can see that population rank, and we can see three digit country code, country, continent, and 2023 population, and year populations like this. And we have area, density, growth rate, and world percentage in our data set. Great, we mostly have like, these are strings, these are integer float type data, and we have strings in here. Great, so we can start to our analysis. Let's start by getting the summary statistics of the numerical columns. For that, we are going to say data frame that describe, and with the describe, we are going to get the numerical summary of the numerical columns. Like we can see from here, the means, standard deviations, which is going to give us an idea about the distribution of the data set, counts, and minimum values, maximum values, quartiles, and information like that. Great. Let's check if we have any NA valued rows in our data set. For that, I'm going to say data frame that is NA. And if I run like this, it's going to give me booleans for every entry. And for removing that, I'm just going to say that sum, which is going to give me column wise sum of the NA values. And as we can see, we don't have any NA valued rows. We can also check for duplicates in the same way. I'm going to say data frame that duplicated. And we are going to see a boolean return in here. If we just add sum after that, we are going to get the actual count. It's zero. Great, our data is clean. Okay, let's do some visualizations. Let's visualize the distribution of 2023 population. So for that, I will say seaborn.histogram plot, since we are going to visualize the distribution. And I will say data frame 2023 population and I'm going to set the bins as 10 and I'm just going to set this as true and I'm going to give it a title like distribution of 2023 population and it's going to take an X label like population and it's going to take a Y label like frequency and I'm just going to use PLT that show at the end of this and in this way, we can see the distribution of 2023 population. It's scientific number in here. Great. Okay, let's do a group by. Let's group our data by continent and calculate the mean population for each continent. So I'm just going to say data frame that group by. And after that, we will say continent. And we are going to take the values of 2023 population. And we will use that mean after that. And here it is. So in return, we get a panda series, which we can manipulate, like we can just do reset index for turning it into pandas data frame. Or what we can do else is I'm just going to run this again. We can use aggregation functions after that, like I can call the maximum, minimum, standard deviation, variance, and aggregation functions like that just like in here. Also, we can just use sort values after this for 
seeing them in the sorted order like we can just say ascending and it's going to be equal to false if you want to get the sorted version in the descending order and we are going to see that they are on the descending order so we can just make it true for getting them in the ascending order sort by ascending order great and after that we can combine these comments like after that actually i'm sorry false i'm going to enter we can combine the comments like i'm just going to say head after that and i'm just going to say two for getting this tab two in here we can do that we can also do this with tail etc we can manipulate the returning panel series so now i'm going to create the bar chart of the top 10 countries by population in 2023 i'm going to try to cover different types of plots different types of group wise so this video can be more helpful on learning the data analysis project and we can just create our bar plot right now so for this uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the data frame and then i'm going to sort this data frame like data frame dot sort values i'm going to sort it by the 2023 population like this and i'm going to sort it like this it's in ascending order right now i'm going to set the ascending as false for getting in the descending order and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that had 10 for getting the maximum of 10 and at the next step i'm just going to set this to a variable like top 10 countries and this data frame is going to be called from top 10 countries from now on like when i call top 10 countries you will see that we have our data frame and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say seaborn.barplot i'm going to set x as 2023 population and i'm going to set the y as country and i'm going to set the data as top 10 countries and at the next step i'm going to say title i'm going to give it a title like top 10 countries by population in 2023 and then i'm going to set an x label like population and i'm going to set a y label like country and i'm going to say plt does show at the end of this and here it is i think it looks nice you can also change these values from here like you can just tag 15 if you want to do like this and you can rerun it's going to create a bigger graph or you can just take eight for example you can just change this number and great okay here is our bar chart great let's create the scatter plot of density and 2023 population so i will say seaborn dot scatter plot and i'm going to set the x as 2023 population and i'm going to set the y as density in kilometer i'm not sure if it's the exact column name so i'm just going to call the data frame columns right here and let me quickly check it's really hard for me to type this so what i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to say data frame dot rename and i'm going to rename on columns i'm going to create a dictionary the value that i'm going to change is density like this i'm just going to make this change with density kilometer and two like this so i can easily type this from now on but if i run this it's not going to modify the original data frame so i'm just going to do an in place security true after that and i will change the column name and if we run this again we will see that it's changed great now i can use it like this and i'm going to say after this i'm going to set the data as data frame we have and we can give it a title like population and density scatter plot and we are going to say x label is going to be 2023 population and y label is going to be density and we are going to use plt.show at the end of this great okay let's do some group wise what i'm going to do is i'm going to group our data by continent and calculate the total area for each continent so i'm going to say data frame group by 
I'm going to group by continent and I'm going to take the values of area kilometer squared actually it's like this so we need to change it from here let me quickly change that I'm just going to copy this I'm just going to call the data frame that columns again and I'm just going to paste this and I'm just going to change this actually what we can do is we can just copy the area in here and we can change this and now it's going to work smoothly I guess yeah just like that and I'm going to say kilometer squared and I'm going to do that sum after this great let's also quickly sort it like sort values in ascending false which means descending order great okay let's create two more plots and then we can finish our analysis so let's create the violent plot which will display the distribution of population density across continents so what i'm going to say is i'm going to say seaborn dot violent plot and i'm going to set the x as continent and i'm going to set the y as density in kilometer squared and after that i'm going to set data as data frame and then i'm going to set the palette as this great so i'm just going to give it a title like population density distribution across continents and i'm going to set a x label like continent and i'm going to set a y label like population density and i'm just going to use plt.show also i want to use capital letters on here and i think we are good great so because of the sum outlier values it looks strange but it's okay great let's create a final plot let's create a box plot which will display the distribution of population density for each continent so what i'm going to do is it's going to be the exact same thing actually these two plots show different things but in here i'm going to make a different thing and i'm going to set something like we can set up parameters like show like this we have a parameter like this on the box plot i also think we have that on here but it didn't change anything but when we use that actually it's with s maybe it can affect no it's not affecting when we use this parameter with box plot you are going to see that we won't get the outliers like i'm just going to say seaborn that box plot x is going to be continent and y is going to be acute density and kilometer squared then we are going to set the data frame as like this and we are going to set the palette as let's say muted and i'm not going to add this right now i'm going to add it later on for showing you the difference i'm going to say title is going to be population density distribution across continents also we can add it like without outliers we are going to add that feature later on x label is going to be continent and y label is going to be population density also i'm going to use capital letters and i will use plt.show at the end but here we have outliers and it looks really strange like the violin plot but we are going to handle the situation right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say show this as false so you are going to see the difference when i run this here you can see that we have a really good looking box plot right now. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I shared a free data science bootcamp where I teach Python, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Plotly, Seaborn and Scikit-learn with three projects. The video is about seven hours and it's completely free you can just reach to that video from the cards of this video or the link in the description.